we have done every single attachment review for the Milwaukee Quick Lock, including an overview for the entire system. I'll put the cards at the end of this video. But today, we're taking a look at the hedge trimmer. I'm going to beat the crap out of this thing. Can't wait to show you what it can do and some of the issues I have with it. Let's get it going. Now, as mentioned before the intro, we have used and abused every single attachment of the Milwaukee Quick Lock system. This one here, I'm excited to show you. There are a couple things that yeah, I'll point out to you here in a bit, but as far as it goes with the attachment and the different adjustable articulating head, really, really like that. Super, super simple. That's gonna come in and play a huge role later on in the video, and I'll show you why. But we've ran this system on the 12AH battery, the 9AH battery, the high output batteries. Today we're going to do a battery that just about every Milwaukee owner has. It's the 5.0 AH. We're going to do a couple different things. This Japanese maple, we're going to trim that tree up. The hedges right here, we're going to trim those up. We got the Le Bouche right there. We're going to trim those up. I'm going to show you that in this piece of tree right here. I hate this tree i should take a pole saw to it and just chop it down the nightmare situation of climbing on a ladder and trying to cut this with regular hedge trimmers it's going to be no more we're going to situate that and then we got my garden yes that's a garden once we're done with that nightmare we're going to move it onto the field yeah we're going to put this thing through everything i want to see how well it cuts down the higher grass even in between my cute little pine trees, we're going to check that out. What's really going to be nice about this is we can actually use that articulating head and put that to the test. But first, let's do the higher week. We're going to put this on slow. I think some people have some issues with the slow mode. Let's try it. Now, after trying the slow mode, my saying is just say no to slow. This hedge trimmer is definitely meant to go on high, so let's crank her up. That's a pretty good job on high. You know, I just wanted to do this demonstration to show you it could cut through the thick stuff. You know, obviously a weed trimmer is going to be a lot better for you, but there you go. You can see it does do those higher weeds if you wanted them to. Now, one of the cool things I found that you could do with this is if you did have a tight area or tight spot, you could go in between those areas like these cute little pine trees. And if you didn't really want to take a chance of killing with the weed whackers, you could technically use this if you wanted to. You can get pretty close to the ground and it makes a nice cut. And that is on the slower mode, so just in case I do accidentally nick that tree, you don't have to worry about chopping it off, hopefully. Alright, let's do some gardening. Absolutely no vegetables in this garden this year. We do have some really high freaking weeds. I'm good at growing those, but I want rid of them. Let's put the head trimmer in there and see what it does. You can see I'm already creating a pathway <laughs> through my garden. Let's keep going. You know, if your farmers out there are looking for anybody, let me know, man. I got that green thumb. Now, these stalks are about a quarter inch, and uh, they're not really that hard, but they are wet, and just a ton of them. So, did a really good job taking that down. Um, because this thing is so long, it's a little bit awkward getting into those tight areas, but whatever. Now, this does have a strap. I will tell you, when you're doing these trees, especially when you're holding this thing up in the air, it's really freaking awkward. I mean, you actually feel that burn in your shoulders but it does help a little bit it's not the end all be all when it comes to perfection by any means but it will take a little bit of weight off of your shoulders all right let's try this on some basic shrubbery
And again, that articulating head, it really does come in handy. You know, if you're going on the side or you're trying to work off the top or the edges, you can adjust that to where all you gotta do is aim that thing down and it just, it just cuts. I mean, it's really nice when you're able to adjust that to your height, your needs, whatever you need to do. Now, the other thing I will tell you, because this thing is so long, even though you can adjust it, the shrubs and the hedges and the bushes that are lower to the ground are a little bit awkward to get to. You, know, you can adjust that head, but I'm just letting you know, you know, it does get a little bit hard to, to actually aim that downwards to get around those lower lying plants. All right, now let's move it on to the Red Le Bouche. And basically, this thing was full of poison oak last year, and I was infested with that crap. It was just a freaking nightmare. And uh, what's nice about this is I can get really far away from this while I'm cutting. I don't have to worry about getting infected by the poison oak. This thing also has a ton of thorns in it. It's just a nightmare plant. I swear, everything that they planted at this house, it was, it was just planted to hurt me and just, just irritate me, I, I think. But it's nice that I can stand back further away from this and not have to worry about getting involved with it. Now this is where I started to feel a little bit of the uh, burning in my arms and be just because of the awkward postures and it, it's, it is heavier. I mean it's balanced pretty well. When you get the larger battery in the back it's actually not balanced bad at all. It's made for the larger batteries, the 12.0s and even the 9.0s but I will tell you it does get awkward <laughs> and don't worry, you're next. All right, so up next, we got the Japanese red maple. Now, this is an easy tree to trim, and usually I would use a handheld unit that's a little bit smaller, right? Your conventional hedge trimmer, but we're going to use the Milwaukee. And another nice thing about this is you can get in those tight corners, those tight areas, and not have to worry about reaching all that far. Also nice to be able to get those low hanging branches underneath those trees but I happen to crawl underneath them. Now the branches on this, they're not that thick. The other piece of they range between a quarter inch up to even up past a half an inch. This one right here, they're pretty thin and it does really go through fast and smooth. Now I will tell you that because this is longer and it's a little bit more awkward, I can see where people are having a little bit of trouble. Some people mentioned that, you know, this thing, it, it's hard to cut these branches, even the thinner ones, and it's slower. If you keep it up on high, remember, just say no to slow, you can definitely cut these branches, but you might have to make a couple passes just because you hit them in an awkward position, even though you do have that articulating head. But it did do a super nice job on this, and I really like that I can get in those tighter areas. All right, it's your turn. Time for the choppy choppy. Now, I am not exaggerating. I really, seriously do hate this tree to the point that I'm probably going to rip this stupid thing out and plant something else there next year just because it grows so fast in the spring. And even all throughout the summer, I got branches all over the place. I hate climbing this tree with a ladder. I'm just falling all over the place. I needed something longer. This was the main event for me. This stupid tree right here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna see how well it cuts. We're gonna go along the bottom first and we're just gonna trim that up and then we're gonna hit all of the higher areas. I wanna try not to use a ladder on this. Taking off the bottom, trimming that up, not an issue at all. Definitely has power to this, don't get me wrong. It just, your arm starts to burn when you're using it for it so long. Let's get up underneath that tree and that's another nice thing. Don't have to worry about climbing underneath a tree or a shrub or whatever you're cutting. I don't know, would you climb under a shrub? I don't think so, but you could if you wanted to. So far, I have not needed to climb a ladder or a stool or anything. I'm able to get up on top. I need to reach what I need to reach. That is a great thing so far. Let's keep it going. Now, right around this time is when my arms really started to burn. The shoulders, the strap helps a little bit, but nothing like I was hoping it would. All in all, still haven't needed to use a ladder. 
That being said, I did have a single tear on my cheek the entire time I was cutting this tree. All right, so you've seen the thing in use. You've seen what it could do, what I struggle with a little bit. Here is a before picture of the landscaping before I did any trimming. And on the right, you can see that piece of tree that I hate so much. And about a half an hour later, I was able to reach everything. That is what the landscaping looked like afterwards. Now, I only did what I did for the video. I'll go back and clean that up a little bit, make it look a little bit neater than what it is. But at the end of the day, my miserable, miserable nemesis was defeated. Now, as far as balance goes, I will tell you the larger battery actually works better. It actually makes it feel better in the hands, except for maybe if you were going and working in really high areas, it's balanced really well. And with all the trimming that we did, we still have three bars on the 5AH. More than enough runtime to do all that landscaping and still you had more to go. And those larger 9AH and those 12.0s are even gonna give you more runtime. Now, is it powerful? Yeah, absolutely it is. But you wanna run it on high. Say no to low. Is it a little bit awkward because of the length? Yeah, but there's tools like this that are meant for specific tasks. Not so much what I did with the shrubbery. You would use something smaller, right? The handheld units where this would be great for those higher miserable trees like I have in my lawn. Did I have issues with thicker branches, a half inch or even larger than that? Not really. It cut if I got a good grasp on it, but the thing was, because it's a little bit awkward, you might have to go over it twice, maybe even three times some cases, just to make sure that you're actually able to bite into it. Is it a multiple use type of trimmer? Yes, absolutely it is. We proved that in the video. Is it an attachment that I would wanna use every single day? Absolutely not. But I wanna know what you think. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. Let me know, do you like it? Do you not like it? What do you like about it? What do you think could be changed? If you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to see more tool reviews. Don't forget to hit that bell button so you don't miss any of those tool reviews. We'll be back with more videos soon.